Hi everyone, this is MJ Kim, MJ TV. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I want to introduce the uh, how to upgrade the Mac Mini later 2012. So basically, the most people think that the Mac Mini um, it can only support the one the hard disk. Um, this is exactly I took it out from uh, original Mac Mini. So let me show the Mac Mini here. So this is my Mac Mini. Um, if you upside down. And then there is a uh, the black caps on it. So gently counter clockwise uh, open it up. And then you will see this fan is running. And also you will have um that. So this is a uh, Wi-Fi and that is uh, another the you know screw, 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 and this is a RAM. And there is also another screw, and it was screw and screw there. So basically, in order to take it out those screws, and you need to have um, uh, this type of uh, tools, or like uh, you know, I purchased that one from eBay, and then because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it took me uh, almost two months to get it. Uh, but however, so in, uh, without these tools, you know, Mac Mini, those uh, um, the screw, you cannot, um, you know, open it up, unscrew this, and so either you purchase from OWC or Amazon website, or like, or you can um, purchase from Amazon. So either way, it will work. So basically, that's the way you can upgrade it. If you don't purchase from OWC, uh, they will give you an uh, instructions. So basically, that one is uh, that black one is a disk doubler, uh, data doubler. So um, this data doubler, uh, two hard disk, 5500 RPM. So they will go together. So if you see the this Mac Mini, it's pretty small. So that's the uh, pen here, so uh, this size, and then that size, and then you see uh, how thick it is, so basically those two hard disks is almost uh, occupy half, so without uh, taking out the logic board, it's gonna be, um, you know, you're not able to insert those two hard disks underneath the you know, logic board, my method for today's video is highlight, yeah, because um, I'm using um, the M2, M.2, those um, SATA, the converter, without those converter I'm using M.2, that's thick, SSD, so that way, and you don't have to open the logic board, you just uh, gently slide in underneath of the, you know, either one of uh, your uh, SSD. So, um, the diagram shows that um, here, So in order to upgrade uh, your Mac Mini with a uh, 2.5 inches uh, SSD, you will need to take it out all the logic board like this. Um, but for my method, and then I don't need to uh, do anything like that. So that might be a beneficial guys to um, upgrade your Mac Minis. Uh, as you can see here, I have a Mac OS Carolina. A version 10.15.6 and the performance is uh, 1200 or 205 and the 203D graphics is not that great so if you are considered to upgrade your uh, graphics in order to do the uh, some the uh, computer games and uh, I because of this only supports Thunderbolt 2 uh, or the mini uh, DB port so um, you can uh, uh, go to um, you know either Amazon.ca or like uh, eBay uh, to purchase the you know Thunderbolt 2 style or like uh, the Thunderbolt 3 uh, with the converters and then you can uh, run the external GPU for this machine. Uh, basically uh, CPU and then RAM and hard disk uh, SSD uh, that uh, with, a, with this function upgrade uh, you have no issue to use uh, uh, your Mac uh, with the current uh, up-to-date hardware and also um, 
the um, when you run the Windows 10 uh, from your one terabyte uh, SSD M.2 M.2 SSD, and then uh, you will see very uh, the good performance. The computer is pretty fast, even though you are um, uh, having uh, 16 gigabyte of RAM. So this uh, logic board only supports the 16 gigabyte RAM. So um, you know more than 16, 16 gigabyte RAM is not will not be supported. When I purchased that one for the first time, it's only four gigabyte RAM. So uh, with my uh, small the spaces, uh, HP 22 uh, display um, with a 21.5 inches, so 1920 by 1080, and then the bamboo tablet pen, Bluetooth keyboard, and HP 22 FHD monitors. So original spec is a Mac Mini 6.6.1 Intel i5 dual core 2.5 gigahertz turbo boost up to 3.1 gigahertz. Um, in this way, and when your the CPU needs more core or more speed, and they can uh, overclock up to 3.1. So that's why I feel like it. Uh, this Mac Mini scores very, you know, hard like a 65 to 70 uh, degree, even though fans are running like that. And uh, at that time. Um, uh, when I purchased it six seven years ago, uh, it ran with the uh, OSR uh, Capitan or Yosemite 10.10. .10. And time goes by, it was able to upgrade to the higher. But four gigabyte RAM is basically you cannot use that one at, uh, at all. And also 500 uh, gigabyte 2.5 inches 5400 RPM. Uh, the uh, laptop style, the hard disk, uh, they they are pretty much slow. So unless you use that one for the data for the second drive if you are not considered to install the window 10 um, um, you can have uh, two SSD one for the window 10 to run and one other one for the macOS Carolina for that if you are considered to upgrade to the macOS Pixel which is released in November this year and then um, uh, officially uh, this is on supporting Mac so you are not able to upgrade to Pixel but however, if you're considering doing it, uh, you can do the open core, and then just make sure that if you're doing open cores, and then um, uh, you cannot have uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and either you can buy uh, the, the new one, to the, which is supported, uh, you know, new hardware, or like you can use the open core to conf have uh, like a custom the configuration. So right now it's run with the uh, OS Catalina, and 16 gigabyte name is at eight gigabyte times two pc3 1200 800 uh, 12 uh, 12 um, 1800 ddr3 uh, 500 gigabyte ssd double uh, western digital balloon and fresh with a data doubler m2 sr converter m.2 one terabyte western blue ssd western digital blue 3d and uh, one terabyte internal pc ssd uh, in august uh, 2020 uh, I purchased it uh, 17680 uh, and then uh, Western Digital 500 uh, 2.5 inches and uh, um, 8499 Canadian dollars. So altogether, I purchased uh, $260 altogether uh, back to August uh, 2020. But uh, when I see the uh, the price now, uh, one month after, um, the M dot uh, one terabyte M dot two 139.99. Um, and then also 500 gigabyte is 79.99. Also, you need to have uh, AX gear M2 to SATA converter to SATA 3 connector. So that way that uh, with the M M.2 you can put um, those uh, uh, 3D S SATA SSD underneath to um, your the Mac Mini unibody. So in order to take it out the SSD 500 gigabyte. Uh, you need to have a fan remover, which is so uh, you can uh, use the faucet, or like you can use the uh, prior bar. So you will see that the four small like pin connector, you are not able to uh, hook it up and uh, take them off from your your finger, and then you are need you need to gently uh, take it out and put it back on. So those are uh, one of the you know the hardest technique. And also data doublers and you know you, you can hook it up and just screw the your M.2 and then you have you can put it on underneath on that and then you, know, you might as well to take it out to the fan and put it back on and that way and it will be 
much easier for you. Uh, tools to open this Mac Mini, and either uh, you can use your custom or you can buy from OWC uh, do it your self installation kit, and then this uh, will sell to the twenty four dollars seventy five. Uh, from OWC American dollars, so to ship to Canada it, it took me to one one month, and then later on I realized that in Amazon.ca they only uh, sell that uh, thirteen dollars for that um, uh, without those tools. So if you have a, already have a tools, and you can just buy the uh, data doublers. Uh, my method uh, is uh, to take it out those um, uh, pin. Uh, those are uh, for the fan, and then just put the, this M.2 underneath um, with a dead space, and then on, on top of that, then you have a you know the 2.5 inches so SSD, so that way that my 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 method doesn't need to uh, take out the logic board, which is very hard to do in it. So as you can see here, uh, this is a method to take out the you know logic board. So, like, uh, if you need to take it out the logic board, the method is pretty uh, uh, hard. But uh, my method to doing it is um, just put insert for this one as well. So, auto receive method hard over one hour detach logic board is an uh, extra thirty dollars to doing it. But my my method is uh, not that hard. So um, my method eighteen dollars thirty minutes time savings and reduce the risk and plastic uh, crowbar and then the disc doublers you can buy nine ninety nine and also AX gear M two to SATA converter adapter this is sold uh, by uh, the JE shop uh, through Amazon the CA so eight dollar uh, and fifty nine cents as well. So uh, after that, your passmark rating is a 120250. So SSD, you have a pretty good uh, 4918.6, the 55% percent percentile. Memory is 1800. Two 3D graphics are, you know, not too, not that great. And CPU mark is a 2240. You can see the four cores, uh, 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, you can turbo booster up to 3.1, uh, uh, you know, giga gigahertz. So you can see uh, Windows 10 can run uh, as um, uh, independently, uh, so it's much better to run with the, um, the virtual machine. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. So boot option Windows and Mac, and you can choose uh, from the startup disk, win uh, uh, untitled win Windows or Mac OS Carolina. You can boot uh, whatever you want it. Also using the, this option key. So using this option key, just uh, when you uh, start uh, your Mac, you just keep uh, um, press down this, and you have a menu uh, to choose uh, either Mac OS or Windows 10, and make sure that you hook, you need to hook it up the Wi-Fi before you uh, start to put the Windows 10 because if you don't uh, hook it up the you know your Wi-Fi, and then Windows 10 doesn't recognize. Um, um, uh, doesn't recognize uh, that wireless and also there was some issue with the Bluetooth so actually probably disk drive uh, driver issue but um, uh, I hook it up with a you know, USB uh, Bluetooth and I, w I was able to you know use it so it, it was not big deal for me so if you have any questions to upgrade these things and I have been doing uh, all the Macs and all, all different years of Macs and Mac Minis and Mac Pros and all kind of Mac uh, devices I have been upgrading and um, you know repair all that. So if you have guys have any questions and share the idea with your, uh, your method then just uh, feel free to contact me and then I always uh, you know have a communication with you guys. Thank you very much for to watching this video. Bye.